Yeah, the discernment. I think if we use like two words to try to get clear, because when you're identifying the fear, it seems to be locked in there, and there's no change. Um, fear motive is this, it's like a getting motive. It's, it's desiring to get. So if we look at some of these situations and they're identified as still associated with fear, then all they really are are opportunities to learn how to fully give. And what this will do is you start to move into this miraculous way of, of living is, is it will wash away all reciprocity and all desire to get something back. Like, you know, the Course teaches to give is to receive. So when you fully get into the giving mode, you, you are washed free of the desire to get anything back. And by practicing it and extending, then you, your trust and confidence grows stronger and stronger and stronger. And it, it also grows more miraculous. I mean, someone might say, oh, it would, it would take a miracle to simply give and extend all day long without expecting anything at all in return. And that's true. It, it, that's what the miracle is. And for me, that, that was where it took a lot of faith and trust because I wanted to, I kind of defined my world and I'm okay, I'm going to brighten my world here. And the Spirit's like, you know, well, I do have a lot to give through you, but I have to direct where you're going to be giving. And in the end, that giving it over to that is it's the whole world. You know, I've been directed to, to give to the whole world other than the small little rings in, that I first started out with, you know, it's been more like, just let me direct giving, and that will expand your perception and will show you what true giving is. So I think that's the key. When the darkness starts to rise up, that, that is the tendency, is to spot it everywhere, because that's how perception works. It's like Jesus says, you look inside first, and then you look outside. So, if you if you feel afraid or anxious, or or you have, feel conflicted in some way, you will perceive a conflicted world that will literally project out, or literally be witnessed to, or manifested in the world. So that tendency, um, I, I think, when you start to work with the Course, you can almost say that that, that will be a phase that, that you go through. And then, that's where the practice comes in, at saying, okay, I think I'm upset with this. You don't deny what seems to be upsetting to you. you you're able to verbalize it even. But then you start to bring it back, bring it back, turn it around. You know, like uh, Byron Katie says, you know, turn it around. You start to turn it around and bring it back. And then after practicing that over and over and over, um, then it starts to generalize more and more. And still, it, until the transfer of training really starts to spread around your mind, and really sweep around to all aspects of your mind, that tendency to see the problems outside is still going to rear its head. It's still going to come up over and over. So it's, it's not more, it's, I could say you have to really go through a lot of mind training and it's only when you kind of reach advanced states of mind training do you have this feeling that, that there literally is no problems and you're not seeing problems either because you don't believe in them and that's how, how you perceive them is, is by first believing in them.